Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. I am here to explain how to do simple port forwarding so that you can bypass a certain error in the Game Ranger server. Most of you are aware of when you log into Game Ranger, you are sometimes presented with this error, which means, well, which says that you're behind a port restricted code not router, which obviously prevents you from connecting to some players in peer to peer games. Now, of course, you can do two things. You can actually continue to host a game. But the drawbacks would be sometimes your connection may drop. So, to alleviate that problem, what we need to do is to allow our routers to directly access the ports required to run the Game Ranger server unrestricted. So, if we click on Learn More, uh, window should come up yes our tab will come up with the necessary info yes here we are so it says here that you know if you want to solve this problem you need to configure your router obviously of course you need a feature called universal plug and play which comes standard with most routers so you don't have to worry about it now of course it says here now the alternative is to manually configure your router to do port forwarding to UDP port 16000. So this is the port that we need to enable in our routers. Of course it gives you the IP that you need to set the port forwarding of course. And it gives you the port obviously um, UDP port 16000. So let's go ahead and do that. I find there are a lot of video tutorials on this and some of them are good but most of them well they, if not all they do not explain a scenario where your ADSL modem is actually connected to something else which is then connected to your computer so, which is what we have here in St. Lucia where most of us have our Lime or Carib cable modems connected to our wireless hubs or our Ethernet switches whatever your setup is so we have the simple solution is to enable a virtual server on your ADSL modem and link it to the IP of your wireless hub or your Ethernet switch. There we go. First we need to get access to our ADSL router. Again just to make sure that the error is still here. I've disabled my settings so that you can see that the error comes up. Okay, it's still there. So we go, we get access to our ADSL modem, which we go ahead and we put the IP in, which is 192.168.1.1. Of course, it will ask you for a username and password. Normally, under normal circumstances, the default password for ADSL modem is admin admin. There is no reason to change it. Of course, for those of us who want more security, you can change it, but it's pretty it's pretty straightforward. You just go admin admin. You go on advanced setup. Here I'm using the Paradigm ADSL CPA. This is the cable and wireless modem. You go into the NAT settings and you create a virtual server. So we go ahead and we add. Let's go back again. This is the virtual server. See here that there's nothing configured yet. So we're going to configure a virtual server. We're going to create a custom so here, well if we go to one of the services that it wants us, well we can, we see here we can configure for Age of Empires, uh, all sorts of games really. But we're going to create a custom server since Game Ranger is not in the list. So we're going to create a custom server and call it Game Ranger. And we're going to give it a server IP address of 192.168.1.2. Now this server IP address is important because this address here is the address of your wireless hub. In this case, my connection is the ADSL modem to the wireless hub to my computer at home. So this server IP address corresponds to the router, the wireless hub. So I'm going to go ahead and put the, the external port start. So what you do, you put all of them to 16,000. This is the port which Game Ranger requires to be open. So after we're done, we click save and apply. And
and here you have in the virtual server setup you have a list we finally have our server setup which means that port 16000 are, are, is allowed and the IP address which allows port 16000 to be open is this one which is our wireless hub that's all we need to do now the next step is obviously we need to go to our wireless router of course the same thing most routers I use the Netgear router um, the WGR version 10 which uh, gives you normally has a default password of admin admin or admin password which allows you to log in to the router and you know manipulate the settings so obviously we obviously wait where can you see the router status here as you can see the IP address of the router is 192.168.12 this is this corresponds to the IP address of the virtual server that we just made in the ADSL modem so this is good the IP address which is shown of the actual wireless router itself is 10.0.0.1 so what we want to do right now how do we know what our IP is we can do it of two different ways we can go in the command prompt we go here and you can type cmd and we type ipconfig slash all of course it will give you a list of internet devices that are connected to you so you go ahead and you look for your wireless LAN adapter and you go look for your IP as you can see your IP address here IP version 4 is 10.0.0.3 this is the IP address with respect to the wireless hub so we go ahead to port forward and this is the IP address that we okay it's here already. so I'm just gonna delete that and I'm gonna put it back again so we're gonna add a custom service I'm gonna call it game ranger it's UDP we're gonna put the ports both of them at 16,000 and we're gonna put the server IP address to your PC essentially 10.0.0.3 which is my IP address and we're gonna click apply and that's all there is to it now to check if this works we go and we're going to attempt to host the game now let's see what it says no error screen I tried this yesterday and I got four complete games running very smoothly even at a wireless connection so those of you who use cables Ethernet cables for your connection it should be a lot faster so this is my video tutorial i hope you learned a lot and you know keep zobbing keep playing game